Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mouse Gaming here with another The Hunter Classic video. Now in today's video we are going to be here on White Rhyme Ridge and I was initially here on White Rhyme because there was a competition going on to harvest the largest snow goose. Now I have done a very minimal amount of snow goose hunting in this game on friends maps at their setups. I didn't even have my own setup but I have been thinking about getting one for a long time and this was kind of the sign I needed to actually finally get that set up, put it on white rhyme and go for a snow goose hunt. And after I put that set up down I decided to go for a wander before actually restarting a hunt to hunt snow geese. And after I put that set up down, I found a couple of really special animals and it made it a, a, an entire hunt that was just amazing. And I cannot wait to share those animals with you a little later on in the video. However, to start off, we are going to harvest a couple of really nice sized moose here on White Rhyme. And you can see this one is actually not very far from where I have my goose set up here at the Hot Springs. And this guy just, he looked so good. I knew he wasn't going to be massive, but I just really love how his antlers look. And he is actually not a bad score at 205.6299. I like any moose that scores over 200. I think they always look really impressive. And just something about this guy's rack, I really liked so I am going to take just a trophy picture of him he's nowhere near my personal best for moose but a good he's a really good looking animal so definitely worth a trophy shot and a good number of gms there and now for the second moose again a really nice size looking bull that I spotted not long after hunting some snow geese and he looked really really good as well really nice palms on him here so again I'm going to take him with the 300 and you can see that the 300 just works magic on these guys they really don't go far before falling over you can see that that guy collapsed only a few seconds after the shot and again, this is a really good looking moose and he actually looked a bit bigger to me than the previous one. I again didn't think he was going to score massively high, but a really good moose at 210.5196. That is a nice moose. Again, not something I'm going to keep for the trophy lodge, but definitely worth a nice trophy picture. Also, I just love using the Winter Camo 300. But now let's move on to some geese.
Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that little montage of me shooting some snow geese there. This ended up being the best goose of the entire hunt. I did do all five attempts for the competition, and this ended up being the biggest one, and I actually didn't take a trophy shot of this guy. I was hoping that I might get one bigger, so I ended up having to take a trophy shot of a little bit of a smaller one. Not by a whole lot, though, and you'll see the trophy shot of that in a minute. But I really enjoyed hunting the snow geese. I'm sorry that I was so rusty. It was my first time using that shotgun and it was my first time actually properly hunting snow geese. So I was trying to learn where I need to lead them and everything like that. So I decided I'd just include my best shots and favourite shots that I'd actually recorded in a little bit of a montage. Now in a moment we are going to move on to some snowshoe hare hunting which again is going to be in a montage style as I didn't really get anything really massive or really trophy worthy but this is my favourite feather type actually for the snow geese is the common blue so I ended up taking a trophy shot of this guy just so that I had a trophy shot of a snow goose from this entire hunting of, of them that I did for the competition but now on to some snowshoe hares. Now this is the best snowshoe hair I managed to find in a couple of hours of hunting them. This was also my first time using the 22 Plinkington and I really really liked it. It was really good on these little snowshoes and it was really fun to actually get the pointer out and have him pointing these again. I really really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a montage and we'll shoot this one now and then we'll move on to the really, really special animals that I actually got to find whilst out here on White Rhyme. I am going to continue hunting snowshoe hares though. I really would like to get a decent sized one to put in the trophy lodge because at the moment the main trophy room that I have is actually filled with um, robots and it would be nice to get some normal hares and rabbits up on those mounts but you can see this one's a decent size at 1804.4311 a really nice size little snowshoe there and hopefully eventually i'll manage to find one that's even bigger but now onto those trophy animals that i have been talking about for the entire video and i really really could not wait to show you guys this is the first of them and it is a doll sheep i came across this guy and i was just blown away by the estimate now you can notice I am using my 9.3 by 74R break action and this is literally just after I have made up my snow goose setup and I decided to go for a little walk before actually restarting the hunt to hunt snow geese specifically and I'm so glad I went for this little wonder because that is a max weight estimate and an incredible score estimate which I think must be max dal sheep ram he looked really awesome so i was very excited to get him on the ground and see what this guy would score his horns looked so good i want these guys and the snowshoe hares and the snow geese in call of the wild so much they are fantastic species and at 110.9 kgs he is a 203.4251 scoring dal ram which is my new personal best and he is just on the leaderboards at the bottom of the leaderboards but i'm still happy with a ram that size that is a really awesome ram it wasn't in the greatest place for getting a trophy shot because of the ground being so uneven but i was quite happy with this one but he is gonna get taxed and sent to the lodge and finally the animal that makes this video just so cool for me to actually make is this bison 
I had no idea what I was looking at at this point. I knew that that was max weight and max score estimate, but I just didn't know how big he was going to be because I am terrible and always have been terrible at judging bison. And my personal best, I believe, was a 122 scoring one. And I expected this guy to probably be a 115 like every other bison that I think is big. So I decided I would just run at him with the 9.3 and that when he put his head down to charge, I would just take a shot and hopefully hit a lung and kill him. Well, you can see that he fell over almost immediately from that shot, so I was very pleased about that. And walking over to him, I thought his horns looked really, really nice. But it wasn't until I picked him up that I got to realise how special this guy was. He is a massive 126.1882 scoring bison. Now, this is currently 7th on the leaderboards. When I shot it and I saw the 126, I thought, wow, that's a really big bison. And then I checked the leaderboards and saw how high it would actually be on there, and I was in complete and utter shock. I had no idea what a monster I had just shot. I cannot believe it still that I got lucky enough to take down this giant. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and thank you guys so, so much for watching, as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.